It's Wednesday night and we got four highlight packs ready to go. My name is Andrea Sachinka and you're watching the KHL Update. We make our first stop at Onsquare, a huge game takes place at G-Drive Arena. Avant-Garde Playhouse Dog Bars. Hot action early on. Mikhail Rankov opens up the square in just 41 seconds in with his 10th goal of the season. And a few minutes later, Arsenio Grudzuk scores his 10th of the year as well, just a couple of seconds into a power play to tie it up. Late in the period, Alex Broadhurst speeds down the ice for a partial break, but he can get a pass to Morbilalov. Second period now, the Hawks on a power play. Alexei Beriglazov slides it to Reed Bushev for a one-timer, and Bilalov gets in the way once again. Third period, Vladik Kachov drives to the net of the left wing, tries to jam it in, but Bilalov shuts the door. And then Akbar scored the game-winning goal. Ilya Safanov scored his close of the season on the rebound. The season series between the two is now tied at two, as Akbar's take it 2-1 on the road. We're off to Yaroslav now, where Lokomotiv defend the ice against Traktor. Not a lot of scoring in this one. The host put together a nice passive play early on, which leads to a shot by Russian Rafikov, but it glitched the post. A few minutes later, rookie Maxim Shabanov tries to go for the Michigan, but it doesn't work. Still a pretty decent chance on the wraparound, though. Late in the period now, luck on a power play. Andre Sergeyev has a go from the high slot, hits the post, and then Traktor managed to keep it out. The Versus get a power play chance early in the second, and it works for them. They get a Kartishnin that's his fourth of the season, and that turns out to be the only tally of the tilt. Sergei Volnik has stopped 32 shots for his first career KHL shutout, and Truck could get two huge points in Yaroslav. 1 0 is the final. Next up, Nizhny comes. Nefty Gimmick play Hells to Amor. The two are currently out of the playoff picture, but this is a good chance for both of them to make a step in the right direction. First period, the Tigers cuff up the puck on a power play. Anthony Camara is slashed in a breakaway, and the ref gives a penalty shot. Camara takes it himself, but again, Alikin stands his ground. A few minutes later, the Wolves get a man advantage of their own, and Slava Leshenko completes the tic tac toe play for his 12th of the season. Moving on to the second, Amor win the draw in the offensive end. Backhand shot by Stanislav Bacharov, and Andre Tikhanmirov makes a great glove save. He's gonna finish the night with 31 saves for his third shot out of the season and Neptakimic take it 1-0 on home ice. Last game of the night is in Minsk, Belarus. Couldn't learn Red Star Challenge Dynamo. The Dragons open things up here to the first. Former London Knight Cliff Boot jams it in from in tight. He scores his second of the game early in the second period. This one comes with a power play, and that gives Red Star a 2-0 lead. Soon after that, Thomas Giorgio finds the back of the net for his sixth of the year, and with that, Kulun are up 3-0. Here to the frame, Kyle Wood joins the rush and bubbles the net while Brandon Eve draws his second assist of the game. He blows wide open in the third. Dynamo get a goal back just 16 seconds in. Mark Barbera with the tally. Soon after that, the Buffaloes are on an odd man rush shorthanded. And Vladimir Alstrom sends it across the seam for Amon Gurbanov, who shoots, and Jeremy Smith makes a huge glove save. We're in the final five of regulation. Dynamo with the extra skater already, and Khalif Fu scores on the empty net to complete his first career KHL hat trick. A few moments later, Alstrom checks the puck to the slot from the corner, gets a lucky deflection, and it's 5 2. Dynamo put the extra skater back on the ice, but it leads only to another empty netter. Parker Poo seals the deal, and Red Star enjoys a solid double on the road. 6 2 is your final. And that's it for the LKHL update, but do come back tomorrow for another set of three games, including Boris vs. Red Army and Admiral against Natalurg. My name is Andrea Sachinka, thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget to check back with us this Thursday.